Alright, so uh, I wanted to uh, introduce my new container lifter. I kind of, uh, I was working on the home ship and kind of took a departure to make this. Um, I needed a good container mover so that I could uh, easily go and uh, stack up some containers so that I could load them in the home ship. I did a test where I uh, took uh, five containers and brought them from Spy Cakes to Komodo. So I uh, quickly made this up and I uh, think it uh, came out pretty well. So I'm going to release it in the workshop in a little bit here. And so I thought I'd do an introduction video. So um, I've got to start at night so I can go through some of the lights. But this is a um, container lifter. Um, one of the reasons I made this was I have a bunch of container lifters, but um, none of them really fit into this um, train hanger this train barn, whatever you want to call it. So I would have to spawn it over here and then drive it all the way down the roads and then have it over here. And then if I was trying to go to, you know, Komodo, there's no place to spawn it. So this way, pretty much all the, uh, pretty much all of these container yards have, um, have train barns where you can spawn the, um, you can spawn that. This one does not, but, you know, um, you know, so most of them, they don't, they have these, uh, train barns, you can spawn them. So I wanted to make something that, um, you know, you could spawn here close and then drive down. Um, so let's do a quick little walk around here. We'll start at the staircase. So here's your stairs to go up. You have a refueling, um, port here. I'll probably add a sign that says diesel on there. Um, have some high vis paint, uh, yellow and black. Have a bumper in the back. Well, um, I'll show you the lights when we get on. That's why I have it at dark. This is a, uh, electric cable anchor for if you were going to um, use a trailer. Um, I still need to plumb that in so that it does brakes for the trailer. Um, your connection, these are simulated um, chain um, loops for a pintle. Um, pretty much the same on this side. Uh, you have your air filter there, um, spotlights. Um, one of the, this is an expandable carriage that will go out to be able to, um, so you can spawn it in this hangar. All right, we'll go ahead and jump in. Uh, have your motor? You have a eight-cylinder flat um, modular engine under here with radiator, and this is just a protective cage, um, so you don't wreck your um, radiator. Have diamond plate walkway. Uh, there's an arrow here. If you look above the arrow, you'll get your toggle button. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll sit in. As you notice, when I get close to the cockpit, um, the player sensor will turn the light. Um, we'll go over that in a second. Shut the door. All right, so let's look at that light. So the light will turn on white. Um, if we we can dim it, we can make it brighter. It will start in a about a 50% dim state. And then if you press this once more, you'll get red. And if you press it once more, it will shut off. So um, same where night, we'll keep it red. Jump back in the seat. All right, so we have a uh, camera here. This is our forward-looking camera. Um, We'll look at that when I get out. Um, you know, we're kind of stuck in here. I'll show the lights, and then we'll go pick up a container. Um, but we have a forward-looking camera here. Um, we have our engine start-stop. So you just flip that switch, it will start and stop. And uh, we'll restart it if uh, it stalls. We have a gear indicator showing zero. Negative is reverse. As you can hear, we have a backup alarm. Um, also, if we look, we have reverse lights. Uh, Zero is neutral, as you can see. And then I'll go through the gears as we move. We have speed, miles per hour, engine temperature. We have our tachometer, RPM, our battery. We have release parking brake. Um, the brake, the parking brake will also automatically come on if um, the seat is not occupied. So if you forget to put on your parking brake, as long as you're not in the seat, that parking brake will auto set. You have your hazards. As you can see, we have wigwag style hazards. Um, they also function in the front here. And if we lift our boom, you can see we have wigwags on both the um, the extendable container um, carriage and the um, body of the um, of the lift itself. Um, we have release container on a toggle. Uh, we have our spotlights, as you can see up and down of spots or you know uh, we have some on the body and some on the uh, carriage itself when we connect a container these spotlights will automatically shut off um, so that you're not blasting a ton of light right back in your eyes you'll only need the top ones 
Uh, to the right of that, we have a camera here. That's a downward facing camera. If you look, it's currently showing right at the base of that container carriage. Um, I'll show you what that does when we uh, get out to a container. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and we'll get moving here. So we'll just put it in first gear. It's manual. You're mostly going to use first and reverse in this. Um, you know, if you were going a long distance, you might want to go up in gears. This is very heavy. If you're going to be going long distance, you're going to want to spawn it. It uh, struggles on hills. Uh, there's nothing really I can do about that because, you know, it's it's a grip problem with the tires and storm marks. I would have to cheat the grip on these, an XML edit grip, which I'm not sure how I would do that effectively. So, uh, first thing we want to do is raise this up so we can clear the barricades. And if, as long as it's in first gear, we just have to press... Um, up, I have the parking brake on. Shut the parking brake off, and we just press the uh, W key, and we'll head on out. All right, it's rear uh, steering, as you as it really would be. Still trying to decide what spot color I like best. Um, this isn't bad right here. I'm trying to, you know, you kind of get this uh, the light blasting back in your eyes here. Um, it's kind of just a storm marks thing. So, and again, if we want to brighten up our uh, our cockpit light, we can do that. Um, have my hazards still on. As you can see, if I uh, if I use the S key to brake, brake lights will come on, and the brake lights will stay on until I um, until it gets back down to zero. All right, we'll lift. I'm gonna lift the carriage up so that um, we don't hit it on the ground as we're going here. It will automatically lock in place. I don't know if you saw that. Um, so that even with containers, you can easily uh, lock it. All right, so I've been double stacking containers here, just testing. So uh, we'll go up to a double stack and we'll start grabbing containers. Uh, this easily can carry two at a time. Um, you know, RP-wise, you probably want to carry one, but um, it's designed so that I can stack containers. You know, I set this up to load the home ship, so that holds five. So as you can see, I could easily stack the five in double stacks. Uh, with a single and uh, do that. So right there I have six stacked. Alright, so as we come up to the uh, containers here, I'm going to press the 3 key. That's going to extend and lock my um, expandable carriage. Right, and we'll go up to the stack here, the uh, D-line. All right, so this is uh, designed after some real um, side lifts. So this only connects to the two closest um, connectors. Um, there are um, lifters that actually work that way. Um, top lifters would connect all four on the top. Um, this is a side connector where it just grab those top two and then uh, you know it, it pushes off of the container. So once we're close, we can just um, I'm going to bump up against it, and then I'm going to use the 2 key to lower it. As you see, the spotlights automatically went out because all that was going to do is just you know, blast it back in our eyes. The top ones still are on. That's going to show our path ahead. If you notice, this boom popped out. Um, th this was is our camera boom. So it, it was looking both straight ahead and down right there in the gap. Um, now it's facing straight ahead, and it's also looking down over the co over the container. So I'm going to jump out really quick. Let's move. Uh, let's move both containers. We'll just move both. There's no reason for me to not move both. All right. So um, I'm going to lift up. So let's look at the cameras really quick. So this one is showing us on the right side over the container, so that we can see our drive path ahead. This one here is showing down below. As you can see, we can see those containers that are in front. So if we look at, um, you can see that stack of containers in front. So we can easily use this camera to get it lined up. So I actually line them up using the camera. We're often, you know, because you're um, blind here with these containers in front, you can use this camera to line it up. I also use this, let me get out real quick. So the parking brake auto applies if, seeing I didn't put it on. As you see how close I got these containers to the end, often you need them pretty close so you can use a ship crane. That camera here um, allows us to get very close to the um, to our target so that we can put the containers right on the edge and get them stacked up close together. Alright, so we'll go ahead and jump back in. Alright. 
And now uh, let's look. Um, as you can see real quick here with my battery, my battery's gone up. Um, I have a PID controlled alternator on the engine, so that will automatically um, use as much alternators necessary to keep the battery nice and charged. All right, um, let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and lift it. All right, so container's lifted up. Um, as you can see, it's nice and stable. We don't get any lift off. A um, little bit of slide, that's just storm marks. You can't do much about that. So parking release still on, we'll go in reverse. Um, as you can hear, we have our backup alarm. Go ahead, give it the W key. And we'll go ahead and move these containers. So as you can see, we can move a double stack. Um, that's no problem. And as you can see, the lights are shining over the top of the container. Um, and so this gives us, um, as you can see, we have light in front of the container. So we can use this screen here to drive. So you can actually tell by the shadow, you know, the camera's on the right side. That's the left side of the craft. And then we have the shadow there. Um, let's go in forwards. And so with the cameras, we can easily drive. So I'm actually going to, let's switch to day. Um, see if we can see that a little bit better. So we're in day mode. I'll go ahead and shut my uh, cabin lights off. And you can see this uh, camera a little bit better here. It shows us that corner so we can um, set how far we want our container from something. So I'll go and I'll just move these closer to um, back to the stacks over here. So you can upshift, but as you can see, I don't really need to. I can leave it in first gear the whole time. If I was going a long distance, I might want to upshift it, but pretty much you can use uh, you know first and reverse or your main gears. This gives you real nice slow speed stability and control. Um, you know, I notice a lot of people's stuff will be uh, very fast, and you know when you're dealing with this kind of weight, you know you're actually it's going to take you longer if you're going fast because you're bound to either spin out or have an accident, and uh, it's just a lot easier to take your time and go slow. And so as you can see, um, I can't see anything in front of me, but because of the camera, I can see I'm coming up on a stack right here. So you can see this is um, a, a container, an oops container that I'm coming right up on. So, you know, um, it's right there. As you can see, this favors the right side. That boom is on the right side. So we can use that to um, try to orient ourselves. And, uh, you know, we know that this area to the left is clear. And so as you can see, you can easily use that camera to maneuver around these containers even though we're blind. So I'm going to take this all the way to the end of the black here as though it was the end of a dock and we'll use, you can see this downward camera is also showing us that um, you know we can use for navigation and alignment. And so I'm going to use this uh, right side camera here, the downward facing camera, to align this container right up with the black line. So we'll get it as close as we can. Um, that's helpful for, um, you know, like I said, put it on the end of a dock so you're nice and close. So this gives you a really good functionality that you can um, you know you can be very precise with this so like if we look right here let's throw the brake on it's hard to perceive the distance so it's hard to tell like you know if I'm too far forward like right now to me it looks like I'm too far forward if I look at this camera though as you can see I still have a couple feet I can probably go so let's go a couple feet so as you can see I'm just tapping and it gives me nice slow speed stability. So as you can see, we're right on that black line. Let's lower it. So I need to slow that down a little, the up and down. It's just a little jerky because of that. All right, so let's get out. Again, I don't need to manually put on the parking brake. As you can see, right on the black line there, this is where our camera was looking at. So this could be the edge of the dock, and you could get it really nice and close without having to use third-person camera. So really wanted to make this so you could do a career save with it or a uh, yeah, career save, so you won't have a uh, third-person camera, so uh, you, you know you need some, uh, some camera assistance that way. All right, so um, to detach, uh, one thing you'll notice when we detach, two things are going to happen. Um, if I turn the spots back on, you notice, if you remember, these spots will not go on while I have a container attached. Um, the top ones came on. So when I detach this container, these spots are going to come back on, if I, if I have the button on as well. And then um, this camera boom is going to go back and it's going to stow um, in the center position. 
So let's go ahead and do that. And as you see, spots came on, camera came back and rotated, and now we're looking straight ahead. So let's go ahead, we'll shut the spots off, we'll put it in reverse, and we'll go ahead and we'll back out. The uh, parking brake was on, I, I manually did put it on. Alright, so now I can use my four key and I can um, put the uh, carriage back in its stowed position. It auto locked, as you heard. And so now that gives me a nice, um, you know, thin profile again that I can park it. So this hill is pretty much impossible for this to go up. Um, that's just because, you know, friction doesn't work like it should in Stormworks. Um, you know, ideally with a vehicle like this, you know, if you had a low gearing like it has, it's like a 4 to 4.36 to 1 gear ratio, should be able to get right up that. Um, it's best to put in a low gear in Stormworks. Actually, a low gear is the worst to get up, so. But, um, yep, so this is the uh, container mover. It works uh, pretty well. I think it, um, you know, it, it's uh, really good for doing some of these uh, container jobs in port. Um, one nice thing with this uh, particular workbench here, I'm not sure if it's other places, but if I were to um, come in here and hit B, even from here I can return to the workbench. So I could spawn it, go down the hill, go move my containers around, and then despawn it and uh, get my money back in a career save. Um, and then I actually noticed this while I was out there that I have a... Um, I think I just screwed something up. Let me do that. Okay. I have a uh, paint block I need to do because of uh, the door. All right. So um, this is the container lifter. This will be in the workshop shortly. I still need to just run through it, make sure there's not anything that um, it needs to be fixed. But uh, Thank you for watching.